I was miserable in my life. I didn't like waking up. I ain't have no purpose. I ain't know what I was supposed to be doing. On October 8th, 1985, I walked in a comedy club for the first time. Signed up for the following week. The following week, a girl took me down there. She said, you got to go to comedy club. You're the funniest person I've ever met. I never even heard of comedy clubs. I'm 27. I walked in the comedy club. I signed up for the following week. I'm going to sit here and learn. I knew I was funny. I just didn't know what to do with it. They had 10 acts go up. Nine of them went up. I didn't laugh at one joke. I was just sitting there just, man, my wish that was me. Man, they should have said this. Every joke they told, I knew the punchline before they said it, and I wrote a better punchline in my mind what they should have said. It got to guy number 10, they called his name, he wasn't there. They said, well, he's not here, we're gonna go to next week's list. Steve Harvey, where are you? Long story short, I won amateur night that night. I won $50. It was a 45 minute drive to my house with this girl named Gladys. I cried 45 minutes. She said, what you crying for? It ain't but $50. I said, no, no, you don't even understand. I, I was born tonight. I now know what I'm supposed to do. I went to work the next day, October 9th, and quit my job. With $50, I had nothing. I just never gave up. I'm gonna tell you something. That decision cost me everything I had. I, I lost everything. I lost my family. I lost friends. I lost everything. I became homeless. I lived in a car for three years. But I just saw this, I saw this, I saw this vision. I just pursued it. I said, wow, that's it. You have to take chances in life. Life is about risk. If you play it safe in life, you ain't gonna have much of a life. If you play it safe, you won't have much of a life. Life is risk. It take, it take courage to pursue your dream. Now it's gonna cost you something. Most people are not willing to pay what it costs to go after your dream, cause you are gonna have to hurt a little bit. And most people don't like being uncomfortable. If you don't wanna be uncomfortable, please do not pursue success. Because success is a very uncomfortable feeling. And I just learned to be, I learned to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, a dream, an aspiration, or a goal, do you know what happens every time you have one of those? This thing comes along called life. It happens to everybody. Life has disappointments, it's got peaks and valleys. You're gonna lose somebody you care about one day. That's a valley. Somebody going to close the plant you thought was going to stay open so you could retire. That's a valley. Somebody going to fire you for an unjust cause. That's a valley. The people that got your credit card going to sell their company, going to sell their business to another credit card company. Your 18% go up to 26%. You don't even know why now your minimum didn't change because you had because it's life. You can stop thinking that life fitting to be easy because I got news for you. It ain't. That's a false hope to think you're going to have a, a, a wonderfully carefree life. That's unthinkable. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever wanna be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, they ain't, they ain't happen. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. 
it's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category.